This is called a little past zero dark thirty, and I have bush problems, y'all. Like I don't like bush. I'm just gonna be honest. And I'm thinking about the call that, that and this really was a thing. This really happened. Barack Obama called Bush the night that um, Osama bin Laden was killed to congratulate him on his, you know, whatever. I don't know how that worked, but they said Bush was actually having a late night falafel when when Barack Obama called him. And I just imagine Bush being on hold with the White House, waiting for Barack Obama to get on the other line, and Barack Obama's like, you know, sea walking, like, yeah! <laughs> so this is, <laughs> this, is, um, this is what I imagine Barack Obama's thinking before uh, Bush picked up the phone. I must admit, Bush, sort of getting an ego erection inwardly waiting on a breathless connection, I'm certain you'll be stunned on the other end with the weight of a thousand ton elephant about to drop on your Republican head. Ironic, isn't it? You know what this is before a single word is said because else why I would not have syllables to waste on you. This must be big. Something, something is dead and soon to be stinking, but first it must be trout fed. And at the moment, 20,000 leagues under the sea, the Navy is drowning your legacy by way of order of this brown, proud donkey, by way of soldiers cutting through the red tape and bureaucracy with a little red light peeking out of an endlessly accurate sight. We undressed Satan like a lesser god. Zero dark 30 is half past midnight. Some of us don't sleep on the job. Don't you find it odd how I keep these slave hours active? Bush. Before you pick up the call, I'm going to disrespect your ancestors' space. Sit in the groove I have left in the place of your former chair. Put my feet on the desk. Have my secretary make you wait in suspended air so you drown there in pools of Texas sweat. Give you hope that maybe, just maybe, I'm calling to give you your old job back. Or maybe I'm getting going to admit this is too hard for me, that the weight is too much for this lanky DC by way of Southside Shy, by way of Hawaii Kenya kid is in there somewhere, running unconquered and free the way they martyred spirits do in Mombasa and Nairobi. I am the biggest chief in this here village, and Destiny has assigned me your leftover soiled laundry bush. You will wait. You will wait the way of power victims choking on hope for safety, justice, and air, wondering how a president who really cared could have let this happen. Bush, you will wait. I read the CIA reports of May 2001. I have exhumed your skeletons, and I am baffled. I mean, it just doesn't make sense how you had not the time to get around to this after the 11th. You will wait. You will wait the way of Katrina victims watching you fly up, away, and over them like some big, white, fat pegasus afraid to dirty his wings by the grim reality that died below. You will wait. You will wait because you of all people need to know what it feels like to be at the back of the bus. You will wait because you can trust that though we are presidents, we are not related. You will wait and you will know your place, that the best of American history is before and after your wasted space of eight years. You will wait. You will wait and sit there sucking your own spit, gnashing teeth. And when I feel like getting around to it, I will whisper in your ear for what you wished for your own glory. Osama bin Laden has fallen. Mission accomplished.